being able to do what you've done, provide so many different types of, of um, you know, types of, of contributions to this team. Look, I'm, I'm proud to be a New York Met in any way and in any capacity. Um, when I when I get the ball, it's the most important thing uh, for me. And whether that's starting or leaving or anywhere in between, I'm just I'm proud that I'm able to contribute for uh, for the guys in this clubhouse and then for the fans. You are on four days, five days starting. Your yeah. numbers are, are far better. Do you feel that when you're on the mound? Is there a tangible benefit when you're pitching? I mean, uh, I mean, rest is always better, right? Um, if there's, but but regardless, um, it's not like I going into starts with, with short rest or relieving on short rest, I felt um, necessarily bad. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a unique um, thing that stands out in the numbers, but um, you know, overall, um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't look into it too much. I, my body feels good for sure. I can, speaking of rest, I can joke that you got a good night's sleep last night and everybody else showing up at 4 a.m. I, I did, that was very, uh, I was very appreciative of that. Yesterday I got out of Cincinnati early um, and uh, took a flight back. Um, by myself, so um, I was in bed um, under my covers watching the last out. Um, so it was it was a good. Uh, I got a good night's rest last night. What do you think of Nemo's catch? Uh, today it was great. Yeah, that was a really good catch. It was a perfect fly route, and we hit him on the we hit him on the run, and it was, it was perfect. <laughs> but no, just just the, what he's done this year um, defensively has, has been remarkable, and just everyone everyone on our diamond um, is capable of making those plays. We have a lot of gold gold labels in our infield and our outfield. Um, there's a lot of gold labels to be won um, in our infield and our outfield too. So, um, you know what he made uh, the play he made tonight was spectacular, and it really um, at that at that point in the game it really, um, you know, that's a leadoff double or a one out double or triple. So for him to to run that ball down, it was it was it was incredible. How were you able to adjust uh, a couple long innings in a row for the fifth? Uh, your pitcher, uh, how were you able to not let it affect you when you went back out? Uh, long innings are great. Uh, for pitchers offensively. Um, it's just one of those things you have to kind of roll with it and you, you take your extra warm-up pitches in between innings. But, um, you know, sitting for a long time on the bench because offensive score runs is always a good thing. And then on the flip side of that, you had a couple of really short ones. You had an eight-pitch inning and a nine-pitch inning. When you walk off the mound after an inning like that, what is that feeling when you realize kind of how quick it was? Uh, it's the most important thing in, in games um, – in general, or shut down innings for starters. Um, we, we score runs, and we put up a zero immediately. So that's just something that I that I hunt. If it takes eight pitches, great. If it takes thirty-five, you know, so be it. But um, it's it's the shutdown innings that we, we we strive for. Obviously, um, you know, the results not being what you want leading up to this. How did that one feel? Oh, it felt great. Um, I think definitely getting that double or that first hit in the uh, second inning. I think it was that really you know got me got things going. Um, but. Just like you said, tonight was just a great night. Um, got three barrels and just contributed to the ball club. Um, and it's a great team win. Is there any kind of release when you see that one go out or even when you make contact on the grand slam? Um, I caught it kind of on the inner barrel. Yeah, I knew it was going to be, you know, I wouldn't know it would be close, but um, it was a little high. I think it was like at 33. So once I saw, um, I think, Birdie's back, I, was, I knew that it was, it was going to go over the fence. So I was pretty relieved, pretty excited that to get my first grand slam. That was pretty cool. I don't know how much you pay attention to this stuff, but you're making hard contact as much as anybody in the major leagues, but you're swinging and missing. Uh huh you know, towards the bottom. What does that tell you about where you're at right now? Does that mean you're making good contact but chasing more than you'd like? Or what does it say um, about where your season's at? I think it's a, it's a little bit of both. Um, you know, um, I think not playing every day, taking on a little bit of the bench roll uh, in and out of the DH, you know, and then just getting uh, used to the DH. It's not the same. Um, I'm still trying to figure that out because um, even when you're out on defense, you're still engaged. You're still, you know, you're got your legs under you and you're sweating out there and so um, when you're out in the DH it's you know you kind of wait for you know 40 45 minutes in between every at bat so it's definitely something that I'm learning still um, but at the same time uh, you know I, I missed a lot of last year so it's, it's not seeing guys or seeing shapes or seeing velocity on some guys you know I'm still learning on some of those dudes so I'm trying to make my adjustments um, and obviously with the healthier hand this year, uh, I'm trying to fix some of the mistakes that, you know, I got in into a hole last year 
Uh, me and Jeremy Barnes and Xavi have been working real hard in that, and I think just the results today showed you know some good ones and just to get back on track after a rough week. Have you been encouraged throughout by how hard you're hitting the ball? Yeah, like absolutely. Um, you know, Buck, Billy, um, and a lot of these teammates, you know, are telling me, you know, keep my head up. You know, uh, balls are gonna fall. Um, just keep hitting it hard um, and keep putting good at bats. Um, you know, I think anybody in my in my shoes, you know, if you get so many line drive outs it could be frustrating when you're trying to change something or um in that case you know trying to do too much and i think that's where i got a little ahead of myself over the last week and a half just trying to do too much um, instead of just being balanced up at the plate and staying through the baseball you fight the cycle at all your triple shot <laughs> <laughs> no i'm only due for one a year that's it <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you had hit a grand slam uh, man, I don't know. I think I, I, I really don't know. Uh, I think maybe in college, but uh, that was my first pro one, I think, so that was pretty cool. Katie, is, is the front office looks to kind of improve the team getting close to the trade deadline. You know, there it seems they can look at offensively. I mean, mm -hmm. do you think with three weeks to go, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of time to change. Mm -hmm. Minds, I would think about yeah. positions working at and stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've I've been in trade talks since 2000, oh man, 15. So I mean, I've been there, done that. Um, and the best thing I can do is control what I can control, and um, you know, keep getting barrels um, and try not to get as many whiffs. And so just uh, go up there and you know, put together a professional bat every single time, um, and just pass the baton. So that's all I can do. James, Buck said that he feels like the last few nights your your hand is starting to get a little stronger and, and he's seeing better at bats. Do you feel like you're getting closer to where you want to be? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's been a it's been a strange year for me. Um, you know, a slow start to the season, and then rise. I feel like I'm starting to get going. The, the hand pops up, um, and then you know it hasn't been been going great since coming back. But I definitely feel like the strength is starting to come back. Um, I'm starting to to get my my just my timing, my feel, everything, um, and then string some quality out of together. That home run tonight, it's not too often that you see a pitching coach come out and it's the next pitch that hit the home run. Is there something that you're up there almost assuming that he's going to be aggressive and you want to jump that next pitch? Um, yes and no. Um, you know, he had just given up, I think, three singles in a row. Um, it, it doesn't happen a lot, three singles in a row. So I'm sure some of that, that mound visit was just trying to slow the momentum. Um, Honestly, I was just looking for a pitch, uh, you know, elevated that I could do some damage on and, and drive in the outfield, and, uh, you know, I got one, and I was able to, to do that. How much did you, uh, I mean, how much of just kind of a, a release is it? How much did you need that to, when you have a game like that, especially coming off last night and, and you're hitting the time? Yeah, no, um, confidence is a big part of hitting, that's for sure. Um, you know, I, I, I feel like I've, I've hit the ball better than what, what my numbers show, um, but definitely getting the result is something that, that makes you feel good as, as a hitter and um, that you can build off stuff. You know, if you line out four times, uh, you can feel good about it, but at the same time, you're, you're 0 for 4 in the, in the stat sheet. So um, it's a process. you, you got to trust the process, and you got to grind it out. Is there a carryover then from last night's big hit to how you felt up there tonight? Yeah, there's definitely a carryover just um, – Confidence-wise, just feeling, uh, you know, coming in a big spot, a big moment, uh, getting the job done, and uh, you know, you, you build off that. You know, hitting's contagious, uh, you know, from a team standpoint, but also from a, from a personal standpoint. What do you think of the way Cameron threw the ball? He threw the ball extremely well. Um, he must have been really well rested. <laughs> <laughs> no, he uh, he attacked the zone from the get-go. Um, he mixed extremely well um, through off-speed pitches for strikes. Uh, went back and forth both sides of the plate, and um, you know, he's in control from, from pitch number one. How hard is it to do what he's been asked to do all season for you guys? Um, it's tough, you know, not not knowing if you're starting or relieving or you know a long relief or you know um, but something that, that's so special about him is that anytime his name's called, he's he's given us a quality outing. Um, uh, it's not an easy role, and he's he's taking it on um, and doing extremely well. Yeah. James, anytime in offense. Kind of scuffles for a contender, especially this time of year. You know, the talk becomes: Do they need a bat? Do they need to go out and get something? How much of a point of pride is it for you guys to, you know, kind of have a game like this and almost say, you know, we have what we need here? Yeah, no, um, we have the, the most confidence in, in ourselves and the guys in, in the in the dugout. Um, something that's so special about this team is, 
it's not just one guy or two guys in the lineup that are getting the job done. If you you know look across the season, it's been a different guy um, really every day. You know, you know, kind of just pass the baton. It's kind of a theme for us is uh, get to the next guy. Um, don't try and don't try and do too much. Um, you know, the next guy can get it done just just as easily. So. Seeing the, the, the lineup produce the way it did tonight, that, that's a lot of fun.